right, Samson to the Whiskey, um, David Benavidez's uh, promoter says that they will be sending uh, Canelo Alvarez an offer following a meeting that they had with Eddie Renasso. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, it's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop a video. So, um, so apparently Canelo could be, you know, looking to do that. I mean, they had a meeting. Um, they already messed with Al Heyman before. Al Heyman already messed with them. Said that, you know, they working closely with, you know, Samson and Luis the Cubas for, for September date. I mean, hopefully they get it done. I mean, we knew that he didn't want to rematch Dimitri Bivol, but I think a lot more fans kind of want to see the Benavidez fight. I mean, Canelo in the corner. Now, you know, some people thought that he may jump up and fight uh, Badu Jack. And uh, Badu Jack is way better than Longu Makabu, but still looks very beatable at Cruiserweight. So, I mean, you know, they had a conversation. Um, so I don't I don't know what that entails. I mean, obviously when contracts, be, be you know, are, are getting sent, things got to be weeded out. I mean, they, they are familiar with each other. They work together for the Caleb Plant fight. So um, that'll probably be the biggest fight of the year. Uh, Benavidez versus Plant. I mean, obviously, Roley and Javante Davis is going to be tough to beat at 1.2 million pay-per-view buys. You just wonder, like, why Eddie Hearn just don't send them an offer? If David Benavidez won't really want to fight, you hear Inga say, well, we got exclusive rights to fight on ESPN. You know, when that when Bill Haney said they could have fought. Hey, at the end of the day, if if you contractually obligated, if you go if you go to a purse bid to go fight on his own, I mean, hey, look here, you can hide behind ESPN and say, well, ESPN made me drop the belt. You know what I'm saying? So, you can hide behind that, but we ain't trying to hear that bullshit about, you know, uh, exclusive deals and all that. Then make an offer for Devin Haney to come over to ESPN and see what the, what, and see what the zone say. So, I mean, there's a number of different ways that, that people can handle it, but, you know, a lot of these dudes want to hide behind the business. That's the crazy thing about it. A lot of these dudes want to hide behind the business when it's an easy belt to obtain. They would rather go over hell or hot water to go get it, but I mean it's encouraging information. I mean that's a fight that I would be interested in going to take a look at. I mean, you know, a lot of people I think Benavidez might be too big, and maybe it might be some caveats in there or some catch weights type shit in there. But if Benavidez signed up for it, guess what? Benavidez signed up for it. You know, Canelo say, "Well, I ain't like the offer. I'm gonna go do something else." Well, he gonna go do something else. Straight up and down. So, I mean, it is what it is. It is what it is. But, um, but I mean, it's encouraging. I mean, it's encouraging. I mean, you know, PBC they got money for uh for you know for the, for that. But then they Canelo and Benavidez. But then again, dude, I heard some discouraging news. I can't uh, reveal from y'all about Spencer Crawford, man. Hey, man. I, I would just go ahead and say, man, for what I heard, which I'm trying to get it verified now, I'll, I'll just say, man, dude, if you hear any bullshit that I'm hearing about that fight, just move on. Just move on, bro. Just just let it go. I'll just tell you all that. Just let it go. They ain't, these motherfuckers ain't trying to fight, dude. They never was, never will be trying to fight. Let it go. But, uh, and that's probably why the negotiations with them going so slow because you turn around and I know how people say don't pocket watch it don't look at whatever somebody else doing but sometimes if you doing the same job and you hear somebody making five or ten more dollars across from you and you doing the same job and you feel like you on par doing it better then you're gonna feel some type of way see all of a sudden they got all this money for Canelo Alvarez to fight Benavidez and I would guess it would be north of that 55 million dollars that they offered him before so they might be paying on 55 you know points five or 60 million dollars to get in the ring and, mi and mix it up you know, they might be paying him a pretty penny to get in the ring and mix it up. So, um, yeah, the shit don't be surprising me no more, man. It don't. It don't surprise me. It don't surprise me. You know, it is what it is, but they found that money quick, fast, in a hurry for Canelo Alvarez. And he probably going to get around, you know, 60. You know, he's going to at least get that 50 mile if he was looking for it. They're probably going to go a little bit north. But at 55, he's probably going to be looking at 60. And it, it's the game. It's the game. You know, it's the game. But, uh, but yeah, still encouraging news. I mean, you know, PBC, they ain't been doing much, you know, outside of Tank and Ryan and 
a couple other things that they got going on. They ain't been doing much. Uh, Roly fight. That was a black eye on the company or whatever. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, you know, this lead to something for boxing. Um, now we could, you know, not have debatables. But, you know, people going to turn around and say, well, he does be. Well, I mean, it's damn if you do, damn if you don't in boxing. I knew when people said, well, I only want to fight at 75. I already knew what it was. That gave Canelo Alvarez a loophole to get out of here. Now, what people got to understand, people going to want to see you fight Canelo, uh, fight Arthur Better Be Ever. He ain't trying to fight Arthur Better Be Ever. I told y'all that. I told y'all he wasn't trying to fight Arthur Better Be Ever. From the beginning, since he got put to, to you know, full Super WBA champion, I already can tell when people talk what, what they speaking on. So, you know, you can already tell what tip they be on. So, it's going to be a lot of pressure on him. To get in there and be able to fight better be at. You know, is it pressure on Benavidez? I mean, yeah, you got to get in there and do your thing. You got to get in there and do your thing. And time is here, man. And I don't think you, I don't think you can start Canelo Alvarez like you start Dave, Caleb Plant. You got to come behind the jab. You know, he been wanting, sometimes you can want something so bad that, you know, you ain't ready for it. But I think he'll be ready. Um, if he come in September, you know, he had the, he had the biggest 2023 anybody, honestly. You're able to get Caleb Plant, and then you're able to get uh, get in there and get Canelo Alvarez. And the question is, can you beat his ass bad, bad enough to be able to get his fan base? Can you take his fan base and add him to the Benavidez fan base? Then the question is, is he going to have that same energy? Will he willing to take on Andrade? He willing to take on Morel, Charlo? Or is he going to, you know, like Jay-Z said, change clothes. He going to change up and be like, you know what? I'm the man now. Y'all motherfuckers need to fight each other to get to me. And that's usually how, over time, how it go. That's usually how it go. A lot of them dudes change their stripes real quick. Not saying that's in his character, but shit. You know, you can turn around if he gets to the point I can fight anybody, I'll make guarantee of twenty, thirty million dollars. Shit. You blame for it, maybe other than guys like that? No. You can't. Can't at all. You know, you can't at all. But um But yeah, I mean shit, that's encouraging news. It's encouraging news, you know. So they've been negotiating with Canelo and I knew Canelo wasn't trying to fight no Beaver again. Now he put Beaver in the jail to fight better B. Yeah, they could he just he could have got that ass whooping over in the summertime. But then again, when you got an opportunity to make the type of money you're gonna make versus Canelo Alvarez, why not? Now I'm hearing this, man. Okay, man. All right, we can do it at 75. Let's go. Canelo lose the Beaver for all the belts, he lose everything. I mean shit, same thing with Benavidez. But you know Beaver can beat your ass. And everybody else know it. That's what they saying, like, oh, man, he shouldn't rematch Beaver. He shouldn't do this. Everybody else know it. But Benavidez, he probably like, yeah, man, I got a better chance versus Benavidez. If Benavidez run through and knock his ass out, bro. But he going to put Benavidez through some hoops. Mark my words. He going to put Benavidez through some hoops, bro. Same day way ends, all types of shit. That shit didn't affect Beaver. And it's gonna sound a little ignorant to some people, but you know, Benavidez is the naturally bigger man than Dimitri Bivol. Yeah, I mean, I know one could be that 75, one could be that 168, but he is. But Benavidez, you know, he can endure that weight cut because he's young. He gonna pay for it later if he keep cutting, cutting weight where he shouldn't po where he shouldn't be cutting weight at. He gonna pay for it later, but. Yeah, you know, TBC, man, that's what they're going to focus on, Canelo. Um, they're trying to bring as much, you know, they're trying to bring as much to the table to uh, to Showtime to keep them on. on. But then again, it continues to be pay-per-views, bro. I mean, with pay-per-views, how you bring the subscribers to the table? That's what they need, subscribers. People that's going to pay that twelve ninety nine a month. People going to pay that twelve ninety nine a month. And these subscribers. And that's the honest truth. So, I mean, you know, at some point, you know, they crossed it. They crossed that road. 
they cross that road, but it's, that's encouraging though. Very encouraging. Um, very encouraging. So let's see what uh what pop off, man, and see if it come to fruition. But but yeah, I heard that uh I ain't looking too good for Spencer Crawford in general, but I can't divulge. I told I said I wouldn't. Then I got to get it verified. So, but when I can divulge it, I would divulge it. But hey, don't let the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button, the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live, drop video. Financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Peace.